Let's make a component in KiCad, and I'm gonna go off of my notes. First, you're going to make the footprint or import it. Then you're going to unshow the value checkbox. You don't need that stuff cluttering up your screen. Then select the 3D model, orient it correctly. Then update line widths and rename the part. In my case, I want to meet the silkscreen requirements for JLC PCB. So I'm gonna use 0.16 millimeters. Save and exit. Now you're gonna go into your symbol editor, import the symbol that you just downloaded, open the library symbol properties, right click or double click to do that. Now you're going to clean up and add some fields. And this is so that your build materials all has matching variable names. So that it's not just complete mayhem. These are what I use for my company. Yours might differ. You're gonna add fields for the short description, the manufacturer, the manufacturer part number, the distributor, the distributor part number, and the JLC part number if you wish to have JLC PCB pre-populate your board. And then only show the reference and the value. You don't wanna show all that other stuff. Save it. So footprint first, that way it's ready to be selected in your symbol editor. If you do it the other way around, there's gonna be a lot of back and forth. Footprint first, then symbol editor. Now you have your complete component and you can use that in your board layout in KiCad. You might wanna save this video as a reference. I know I'm going to. I don't remember this stuff off the top of my head. I write it down or I put it in a TXT file in my project folder so I can refer back to it later because I do way more than just circuit design here. So I have to refer to stuff like this. Don't feel bad if you forget. You can come back to this video. You can share it, all the good stuff. Thanks for watching. Adios.